Hello everyone, you are not in Endurance Laser Lab, you are at my home. While safe, isolated, I did not plan to do anything, relax and reading books, but this morning I get a call from a customer who said that uh, he needs a laser or a, any tool to be able to make uh, protective shields, uh, protective masks for people, and he's, he was going to use a PET plastics. So this is PET. And as you can see, it's transparent. Well, it's foggy, it's almost like semi-transparent. But uh, the problem is that with our wavelengths, 445 nanometers, it just goes directly through, so it does not cut. So then I decided to make some research and experiments this afternoon to see if I can solve this case. I tried a black marker, I tried different tapes, and then finally I, find, I found uh, a masking tape that really uh, that works pretty good so what I'm going to do is to cover uh, the piece uh, with the masking tape let's do it like this okay so and I'm going to do it on both sides so I always do live videos so that you can guys see that it's all real and uh, we show an entire process and I'm gonna put it somewhere here okay so looks good and let's see what we can do. So uh, I'm gonna cut uh, two on two centimeter, like one on one inch square. Okay. Let's put it over here. I need to check the focus. Focusing is very important. We are not in focus. Will not cut anything. So we're all good, I think. We'll check the focus on the camera. And we're using light burn software. We do two repeats, and the speed is 100. Okay, I start the process. Do not forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser. I always wear goggles. See, maybe I need to reduce brightness. And uh, yeah, you make two repeats to make uh, edges absolutely clean and perfect. But um, maybe like like I said, 100 millimeters per minute is not the best speed. But still, this this guy is uh, doing his job, even. He shouldn't, because this wavelength should go through. But uh, I think with different types of tapes, like masking or... I tried with, with this one. It didn't w work well, it just burned. And here, I assume, I assume that even one path would be probably enough. But if you want to make perfect and perfectly clean edge uh, you can do this also would recommend you to use an air exhaust film extractor uh, because uh, it generates some smoke it's not dangerous uh, I mean it, it's not very dangerous as like PVC but still not healthy okay so you see it's done so so i hope that you like this video and now you can cut pet plastics 0 0.3 millimeter and uh, let me let me show you that now it's clean. We need just to remove 
protective shield from it. Okay, one part is done. In a second. And here. So we did it. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends. And yes, let's save lives together. Let's make some some protective shields with pet. So thank you guys and stay tuned with Endurance.